Let us prove that n cube plus 11n is divisible by 6 for any positive integer n. So we got n cube plus 11n that can be factorized as n into n square plus 11. Okay. Now if n is even, then this quantity is even. Once again, if n is multiple of 3, then this quantity is again multiple of 3. So we see that it's a multiple of 2 as well as 3 if n is multiple of 2 as well as 3. So n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 6 if n is a multiple of 6. But we did it by taking n even and n to be multiple of 3. So let us do case by case. Let us show first that n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 2. So we call it case 1 or claim 1. We will just show that n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 2. That we, we can see clearly, clearly If n is even, n cube plus 11n equal to n into n square plus 11 is even. And we know that even numbers are all multiple of 2. What if n is odd? If n is odd, then n square is also odd and 11 is odd and sum of two odd number is even. So n square plus 11 is even. So n into n square plus 11 is even. So we see that n into n square plus 11 is ir even irrespective of n being odd or, ev or even. So we find that n square plus 11n is even for n being even or odd. It doesn't matter where, what you number you take, whether if you take n even, then it is even. When you take n is odd, then also even. Therefore, n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 2. Okay. What about this one being multiple of 3? So let's look at another case. So now we claim that n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 3 for every n, comma, for every n, natural number n, so n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Let's prove it. If n is a multiple of 3, if n is a multiple of 3, then n cube plus 11n is simply equal to n into n square plus 11, definitely a multiple of 3. It is a multiple of 3. So if n is a multiple of 3, then we know that it is a uh, n cube plus 11n is definitely a multiple of 3. What if n is not a multiple of 3? If n is a not a multiple of 3, so if n is not a multiple of 3, then n will leave remainder 1 or 2 divided by 3. It cannot leave remainder 0. It cannot leave remainder 3. So only remainder possible is n equal to, uh, sorry, remainder equal to either 1 or 2. Therefore, n equal to 3k plus 1 or n equal to 3k plus 2 for some natural number k or for some uh, k may be 0 as well for some uh, k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on for some k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Yes, fine. n might be equal to 1 then 1 equal to 3 into 0 plus 1. Therefore, uh, n square plus 11, we know that n cube plus 11 n equal to n into n square plus 11 equal to, okay, let's, uh, if n equal to, let's do this one first, if n equal to 3k plus 1, 
Therefore, n square plus 11 equal to 3k plus 1 whole thing square plus 11 equal to, you know, formula a plus b whole thing square. That's equal to a square. So, 9k square plus 2 into a into b plus b square plus 11. So, that's equal to 9k square plus 6k plus 12. We can take 3 common and we can write it as 3 into 3k square plus 2k plus 4. Is that a multiple of 3? Yes, it's a multiple of 3. 3 into something, that's definitely a multiple of 3. What if n equal to 3k plus 2? 3k plus 1, we got it. n square plus 11 is multiple of okay, 3, but we want uh, n cube plus 11n. Therefore, n cube plus 11 n equal to uh, n into 3 into 3 k square plus 2 k plus 4. Definitely, this is a multiple of 3. Now, if n equal to 3 k plus 2, n square plus 11 equal to 3 k plus 2 whole thing square plus 11 and that's equal to you know the formula a plus b whole thing square that's equal to a square so 9k square plus 2ab 2 into 3k into 2 4 3 12k plus 4 plus 11 so that's equal to 9k square plus 12k plus 15 we can take 3 common And we can write it as 3 into 3k square plus 4k plus 5. Therefore, n cube plus 11n equal to n into n square plus 11 equal to n into 3 into 3k square plus 4k plus 5. Again, we find it to be a multiple of 3. So, if n is a multiple of 3, definitely this quantity is a multiple of 3. If n is a multiple of 3, then this is a multiple of 3. If it is not a multiple of 3, it will remain 1 or 2. In case, if it leads remain 1, then n equal to 3k plus 1. And in that case, we again find to be a multiple of 3. If n leaves the remainder 2, then also we find that it is a multiple of 3. Therefore, by case 1 and case 2, so case 2 is done. Therefore, by, therefore by claim 1 and claim 2, n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 2 as well as multiple of 3. We have proved both the claims. So, we can combine these two and say that if it is a multiple of 2, and multiple of 3, then I can say that therefore n cube plus 11n is a multiple of 6. In other words, n cube plus 11n is divisible by 6.